look at what's happening around the D this Labor Day weekend. And that, on that cue, we bring in our buddy Rich Rice. Rich Rice is the owner of Detroit by Design, a local event planning company, and he is back with us seated. Screen left. What's going on, buddy? All right. Hey, how are you doing, Jason? Good. Doing, Patty? It's Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. You guys Can't ready? Wait. How about you? I'm just chill. Yeah. Chill. I got to work Monday, so. Yeah. Just, oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Fair enough. You? Well, uh, I work a little bit, a little work, a little play, mix it up. Well, with all this rundown right. of stuff, you're probably going to be, you know, just hitting, you know, just skipping from one place. To all the kinds next. of stuff going on. Uh, Michigan State Fair. It's going to be this weekend. Um, uh, staple for Labor Day weekend. And uh, clowns, cowboys, and butter cows. Clowns, cowboys, and butter cows. The elephant ears, the rides, the corn dogs. There's just something about it. There's the Ferris wheel. I there just want to eat. That's all. So there's, there's three different portions to it. You have the fair, and then you also have the carnival with rides. You can buy a wristband. And uh, the Shrine Circus is also part of the uh, Michigan State Fair now. And if you bring three cans of food in for gleaners, you can get $5 off a wristband for a, a premium wristband on limited rides. So it's kind of a cool. Um, Today through ride. Monday at the Suburban Collection Showplace in Novi, tickets start at eight bucks for adults and six, $6 for kids. That's just for the fair admission, by the way. There you go. Big concerts yeah. happening this weekend, right? Lots of great music, yeah. Who's, which one of you is going to sing a bar of uh, John Mayer's song? I don't know if I'm. Mm -mm. Smell, you got one? Or? No. Now, didn't he, as, uh, did Taylor Swift uh, oh, yeah. make a song about him? Was he part of the Taylor Swift well, jaded ex boyfriend? Isn't, isn't he reputed to have um, hooked up with half of Hollywood and yes. in the industry anyway? So. Well, there might be a lot of songs about him out there then. Yeah, he, I hear he, <laughs> you know, through, according to the gossip magazines, he's a real troublemaker and a guy that you want to. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, for thirty-six bucks, you can hear some of his own songs. Okay. <laughs> at, uh, at DTE on Friday, uh, starts at seven p.m. Also, U2 is going to be in town at Ford Field, and on the other side, if, if you're a baller, you can spend up to two hundred ninety bucks on a ticket yeah. uh, to go see U2. Well, and even if you're not a baller, what if you're just somebody's been saving up for a long time because U2 is your favorite band? There you go. All different ticket levels, so you can yeah. find your uh, your right price. And they have a special guest, don't they? U2, Beck. Back. So I, that's what I heard the great wow. Loser okay. baby, so why don't you kill? <laughs> I would love to see back. <laughs> and then their their guitarist Blaze or Edge or something was recently in a documentary. The Edge is that his name? Okay. Yeah. He was in a documentary with Jimmy Page and our own um, uh, Jack White from the White Stripes recently. Called it Mike It Loud. It was really cool. Cool. So apparently, cool. Uh, I have a good guitarist in the band there too. Let's move on to a festival that started back in <clears throat> 1931. It's the Romeo Peach Fest. Yeah, in addition to Arts, Beats, and Eats and Jazz Fest this weekend, we can go out to the, is that, is that east side? Upside. Upside. <laughs> Not quite up north. Okay. Yeah, the second oldest um, festival in the state. Thursday through Monday, all kinds of stuff going on. Classic car show, uh, craft shows, a night parade. And um, prices vary. So uh, you can check their website, RomeoPeachFestival.com, and get a little more information on that one. Only insofar as you've said the word peach and bearing no relation to it whatsoever, I should drop a note here real quick that if you're in the market for the sweetest puppy in the world, there's a dog named Peach at Detroit Dog Rescue that we took home for three days. We couldn't make it work with our existing Chihuahua. There was too much of a size disparity. But if you go to my Instagram page and you see this dog with my daughter, you're going to want to instantly adopt Peach. And she is still up for adoption at Detroit Dog Rescue. So get that note in there real quick. Oh, that fit in there Peach perfectly, Peach is just huh? peachy. Peach is just peachy, peachy. And have a good time in Romeo. What's going on in Hamtramck? All right. Well, Hamtramck is a place for local music, right? So they're doing a big festival this weekend. And in addition to all kinds of programming <laughs> that's going on, um, there's uh, three days of two stages, and um, the, closing out the festival is a, a couple acts that I really enjoy. Uh, Tune Day is kind of the new up and coming kind of Detroit's version of Lady Gaga. Nice. Okay. Um, so that's really worth checking out. And Stephanie Cox, a, a good friend of mine, is also closing out the other stage. Uh, uh, amazing voice, really beautiful singer. Um, there's going to be free bike ballet there, and there's yacht races down Joseph Campo. So nice. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds kind of interesting. Well, I'm stuck on bike ballet. That sounds very fancy. Yeah, yeah so there fancy. you go. He's so fancy. Wheelhouse, um, Wheelhouse Detroit supports a lot of those bike valleys around town. Very which I cool. Think is great for the city. Very cool. And when you hear Cannonball Run, oh boy, did I love that movie when I was a kid. It may conjure up images of Burt Reynolds. Uh, you We're know, the right age for that one, right? Dom DeLuise know. and the girls in the uh, Lamborghinis. But 
it's actually happening in real life. How cool is that? And who better than Ice Tea and Coco to bring it to uh, Detroit? Some Ferraris and Rolls Royces and. It's going to go from Detroit to Denver, the real life cannonball run. You can see dozens of hot rods, high end vehicles happening 9 a.m. to 12.30 at Bagley, 220 Bagley, yep. uh, downtown near Beacon Park, the brand new Beacon Park. There you go, right across. Look for the castle building and you'll find it. And you'll know where it is. It. <clears throat> Seems like it's going to be a packed weekend. Thanks, Rich, for being with us and helping us get the weekend started and planned out. For a look at more events happening in and around the D this Labor Day weekend, check out the live guide at clickondetroit.com. Man, I love these kind of packed weekends, but it's so hard to decide, right? I would kill to be part of a legitimate cannonball run. Are you hip to the, the cross country race where there aren't any rules and if you get caught by the police or your car falls apart, too bad kind of thing? Oh no. Yeah. Okay, you're going to have to tell me more about this, oh. and it's all in the fanciest cars you can get, Lamborghinis and Ferraris? It's based on a 1981 <coughs> Burt Reynolds movie uh, where, it, exactly as I just described it, all manner of different cars, hot rods, ambulances, hmm. you know, imported sports T -Birds? cars. T-Birds? So I could be down? T-Birds? Okay. T-Birds, sure. To know.